Wait a minute. Come here. Check this out. Looks yeah. like left, right, left, or right. Right, right left, left right. right, left, right. And where the hell did it go? Many claim it towers over nine feet tall, covered head to foot in dark fur. It's said to possess superhuman strength, hurling huge objects, leaping fences, and bounding 20 feet in just two strides. In a spooky spot in the California woods, it's known simply as Bigfoot. James Fay, a.k.a. Bobo, is a Sasquatch enthusiast from Humboldt County, the heart of California Bigfoot country. In this general area, is that the Roger Patterson Bob Gimlin film was filmed not too far from here up in Bluff Creek back right. in '67. So this is historically the spot where people go. We use what we believe to be uh, Bigfoot calls. That people have recorded around Bigfoot activity. What are you hoping to hear tonight? It could be anything. It could be tree tapping, it could be howls, it could be a scream, it could be like a real aggressive territorial call. A lot of waiting. Yep, this is Bigfoot hunting. Of all the locals up here, what percentage do you think actually believe in Bigfoot? You talk to loggers and outdoorsmen, and you're talking a real high percentage. On a 1 to 10 believability scale, where are you? I'm a 10. Yeah, well, I, I saw one, so seeing's believing. Local researcher Bobo had his own encounter here in 2002 while on an expedition with the Bigfoot Field Researchers Organization. All of a sudden, I heard a loud crack come from the site. Crack, crack. And we were scanning back and forth for quite a while when all of a sudden, what I thought to be a boulder or a huge stump just went straight up and walked into the tree line. I couldn't believe how enormous it was. It was about as big as the whole hood area of a Toyota pickup. It would go back and forth, and it would be behind this one stump that came between its belly button and its chest. It was right about here exactly. The next day we measured that stump, it was six foot nine, so we figured that thing had to be 10 foot. I kept trying to antagonize it, doing calls, and then all of a sudden, at once, it was like simultaneously, at least two and maybe three ran at me full speed. At this point, I mean, I was scared to death, and I was wanting to get out of there. Local Bigfoot field researcher James Fay, a.k.a. Bobo, who had a sighting of his own recently. It went into this crazy howler monkey gibbon kind of screeching, chattering. He couldn't even imitate it. Just crazy, and we're, we're parked right at the spot. And this was less than two weeks ago this happened. I always had a belief in him, but now I have a knowledge in him. Because seeing is believing, and I saw it. It was some scientists trying to figure out the Sasquatch riddle. Then they figured out it was a missing link. I think it's it's kind of appealing to a lot of people that there's this unsolved mystery, right? Right, in people's backyards. And it's it, and it's not, you know, it's not, you don't gotta go climb Mount Everest to go see a abominable snowman. You can drive up to Northern California and people have encounters up here all the time. Since the late 1950s, local and national newspapers have recounted eyewitness reports of six to eight foot tall, hairy, man-like creatures roaming the mountains of Humboldt County in Northern California. But ancient Native Americans have been recounting sightings for centuries, sightings of creatures they call the Creek Devil. Because the elders have the stories from before the whole Bigfoot craze with Jerry Crew in 58 and the Patterson film in 67. Well, because it's not, to them, it's not legend, it's knowledge. It's part of their natural fauna of the area. In 1993, an eerie animal-like sound was recorded near the Klamath River. Bigfoot researcher James Fay, better known as Bobo, wants Autumn and Matt to hear and compare the screams to the many other recordings captured on tape from other parts of the country. Can you tell me a little bit about the circumstances surrounding this? 
I guess he was just sitting in his home at night hearing the thing screaming and he went outside with his camcorder and didn't get any video. It was dark, but he got the audio. <laughs> I guarantee there's splotches within 20 miles of here tonight. An international team of investigators has set a high-tech trap in an effort to discover if this creature is myth or reality. Right up here on this ridge is where I got a real good vocalization two years ago. Um, that was a, a very, very long howl. And night ops begin. The team heads into the mountains near the location of a recent scream report. Oh, go back to your left. Go back to your left. So we're gonna we're gonna change the and back this way. This is amazing. This is a blasting team. Um, Bobo's gonna try some more vocalization. Good. I guess we'll give one last shot before we call it a night. And four. Bobo also mimics calls that he has heard firsthand. I have a theory that the reason that you hear so many stories about people getting growled at while going to the bathroom is that they think we're trying to mark their turf. While urinating at the perimeter of the camp to provoke an interaction might seem silly, I think Bobo may be on to something. Yeah, when I'm out in the field, I'm always acting like I'm marking my turf to try to provoke a response. While we're out there, let's just do it. Here we go, creature. Whose turf is it now? Bobo will take Autumn back to the location where his sighting occurred. Our goal is to try to replicate the same circumstances as closely as possible in hopes that the event will repeat itself. The woods are a lot like a bar. Shoot your mouth off long enough and loud enough so when bigger and badder is going to come by and shut you up. So that's what I'm hoping for. I hope I get punked by a squatch.